left. So I'm going to explain everything that I didn't catch on camera in the car right now. I'm about to get some lab work done. And I think I'm going to this place. I've made it to the TV side waiting area. I am in the outpatient. I had to do it real quick. I want to get in trouble. I know I'm at a hospital. So I want to be, you know, respectful to their rules and stuff. Um, but I'm in the outpatient laboratory so I'm about to get my blood drawn I didn't chance to get it on camera but I was filled out the little paperwork and um I did I can't find my insurance card but they had already had all my insurance and stuff on file so that was pretty good because I was nervous that I was going to have to reschedule this. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just in here waiting. Um, like I said, I'm going to wait till I get in the car to talk more in depth of what was all said um and if you guys have any questions about my situation then just comment down below i really want to fit my tight header my my tight header i really want to have my hat tighter but my lash over here, I need to take these lashes off and probably reapply them. But this is really bothering me because it's lifting up and it keeps sticking and just doing everything it don't supposed to do. And I'm ready to just really pull it out. But I don't want to walk around the hospital with one eyelash on. I don't want to do that. I really need to spit. Y'all yeah, have this horrible thing with spitting. It's just something. It's mainly been a pretty cool visit. These people are so loud. Over there, where I just recently came from, they so loud. One on the phone talking about surviving R. Kelly. The other one, they keep playing Juco. One is too much. I'm just ready to get in and get out. I'm going to call my sister and my brother and see what they're doing. I know that they, he said he was, they was going to come by if they got a chance to see me. And I finally get to see the baby. Hey, good, how are you? Okay. This 
<laughs> yeah, I'm I'm actually recording for my YouTube channel. Oh, so okay. I'm just trying to get some record this. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> So I am done with my doctor's appointment. I'm getting on the elevator so I can head back to the first floor. And I'm finally getting some service. I didn't have any service. trying to say what I really want to say but you kill me I mean really slay me shoot me down in the street y'all really kill me she mad she mad I'm not tolerating any of the inconsistency and I just feel like if I don't have to tolerate it then I ain't gonna tolerate it okay oh I just gonna take them off she was saying um i know it was a couple of things that i didn't get on camera but majority of it is um i have <clears throat> i have graves disease which um falls into the lines of me having um hyper 
thyroidism and um basically like um let me see Let's see how to explain this without taking a long time to do so um so you guys are going to see like a clip of you guys are going to see like a clip previously of when I was at the doctor and she was like drawing out um these weird little images but she that's just how she explains to me like what exactly is going on with my thyroids and um as you guys saw she said that I have um <clears throat> Graves disease but that's just the um the name of the I did ultrasound biopsy done before then and I also have to get another um I have to get some more some more blood drawn the um I think she said the day before so I have to get my blood drawn again on March 14th and then go for my two month checkup on the 15th and then on the 15th we're gonna go from there but um I do suppose to start taking my medicine that I was prescribed I didn't take it the first time and let me tell you why okay so I didn't take it because just when I was being flat out just irresponsible didn't go get my prescription filled forgot and then just a little skeptical about the side effects because I don't want to throw my body I know it's to like sort of help but it's so many other like bad symptoms and that you have to like if you take this medication oh this is going to come this is going to come this may you know and it's like all the side effects i rather just not take the medicine if i'm going to have all these side effects that's going to come with it um but it's something that I have to do, so a prescription fee. Well, I first need to see if my pharmacy even still got the um, like, ooh, look at that. I told you I put a lot of lip gloss on. So I gotta go even see if they still have it. And if they do, you know, of course, get a feel and start taking it. I did say the C word, which cancer has been brought up to me before. Um, last year, they thought that I was going to end up having um, thyroid cancer. And no cancer showed up once I got my test results back. So, we're just going to keep believing and having faith and praying that once they get the test results. And again, that it's not going to be any cancer at all. But, <clears throat> I'm mentally prepared for it. And if I'm not mentally prepared, I've just been praying. They did a wide ass turn. Um, but, I've just been praying. I just cursed, but anyways. <laughs> I just been asking, um, and asking the Lord. We believe in the Lord on this on this channel. <laughs> on this channel, we, um, I, you know, just if I'm not, if I ain't ready, get me ready. That that's all I can do. I can't sit and be like. Oh, um, you know, they're saying I could have cancer. Da, da, da. I probably would have been in a much worse state because <clears throat> um, my thyroid has just hijacked my body and it's pretty much in control. So it's a lot of things that I know she was asking me questions about and I really couldn't give her a definite or like for sure answer just because my doctor's appointments be so far apart it's hard to like keep up with everything but um probably this time around i'm just gonna like but i i don't know it's hard because i can't tell what's a symptom 
of my thyroid and what's just you know my body changing or the temperature or anything like that like I can't tell so that's why I wasn't sure like yeah sometimes I may do get a headache well she actually mentioned that I probably should go see someone to see if I was diagnosed with migraines um because that's what I've been that's what I described to her that I've recently been having explained to me like what was the um uptake scan so what I had last time was called an uptake scan and thyroids kind of just hijacked my body it's making a lot of extra hormones um more than my body can upkeep with it so the two terms either you're going to hear is um hyper or hypo so hyper means hyperactive so um i still am in the hyperactive stage which is like my body is constantly overworking um i'm real jittery everything's going so that's why they have to ask me so many questions on like okay has your temperature intolerance changed do you get migraines what about nausea going to the bathroom um vomiting um has your eating changed have you lost excessive weight um and things of that nature it's the reason why we have to keep up with everything but that's why it's so hard for me to give them a for sure answer because it's like when my next appointment is literally two months away that's hard to keep up with everything that that happens with my body in two months in two months march is going to be back spring um you know it's just things happen so that's the only reason why i couldn't give them a for sure answer because it's really hard to try to keep up with it um y'all so i'm pretty like cool with the whole getting my blood drawn i was actually shocked that my left arm um she couldn't find any good veins because that's the arm that most people you know find veins in so i guess um my right side is my good side now i don't know um but i'm so used to getting my blood drawn it doesn't bother me at all to to see it um the apprehension anticipation is still get me but i'm scared i don't be nervous or squeamish or freaking out um, it doesn't really even hurt i mean i feel it i know it's there but i'm so used to getting my blood drawn it's just yeah that's it i don't know if i'm gonna close this video out right now um i don't have anything else going on but who knows